Democratic leader. Senator from Nevada, Senator Cortez Masto. Senator from Nevada. Mr. Vice President, I know that this room is full of leaders of both parties who love this country, and many believe that for America to succeed, our politics must find common ground. And that has never been clearer than today when armed rioters stormed the U.S. Capitol, emboldened by President Trump's false and inflammatory rhetoric about the 2020 elections. I'm going to try this one more time since I've already recorded this once. So, as the people, we are not supposed to question an election where the amount of total votes exceeds the amount of total voters. Are you kidding me? Where a Dominion's machine was hacked within 10 minutes from outside of the machine? Where it was caught on video, a woman scanning over and over and over the same pile of ballots right around the same time that Biden's percentage went up when Donald Trump was winning? I'm sorry, but if you don't have the eyes to see, then something's wrong. Something's also wrong about Antifa and BLM making the statement that on November 3rd and 4th, they were going to dress like Trump supporters so that they can ensue riot and not be seen and look like it was under Trump's law or Trump's, like Trump wanted it to happen. Same thing today. If you all cannot see that this crap is planned, and this is not just some freaking conspiracy, call it whatever you want. I find it funny that all these speeches are automatically being read. Like, okay, what they do, write these speeches within the last couple hours? No, 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 I'm sorry. You should be ashamed of yourself, Pence, and all of you objectors that are now changing your vote due to what happened today and trying to say that Trump incited this violence? No. You know what? It wouldn't surprise me if somebody didn't push that poor woman that got shot today right into police so that she would get shot. Come to find out she's a veteran. Listen to this. Riots was actually. Listen. Sorry, we do want to bring you some breaking news right now. The woman who was shot and killed inside the U.S. Capitol today during the riots was actually from San Diego. KUSI, we have spoken with her husband, and he tells us Ashley Babbitt, that's her name. She was a 14 year veteran. She served four tours with the U.S. Air Force and was a high level security officer throughout her time in service. Her husband says she was a strong supporter of President Trump and was a great patriot to all who knew her. Metropolitan Police Department say an investigation continues right now into her death. KUSI sends our condolences to her family and to all who knew her. And to say that Trump incited this? No. If D.C. police were doing their jobs, people would not have been able to get past them. I, for one, have seen firsthand that these D.C. police in riot gear don't even have to be provoked. There was no protesting. It was peaceful in D.C. inauguration night. Or, I'm sorry, the night before inauguration. All of a sudden, these police were lined up, started counting backwards, marching, and pepper spraying innocent people seen it firsthand. And all of these people that are wanting to say that Trump incited this, no, Trump called for peace. Trump told people to go home. For all of you that believe that Trump had something to do with this, shame on you. For all of you that question the selection, good for you. Keep questioning it. And so what if every election from here on out needs to be questioned? That's what our Constitution allows us to do. And all of you that are wearing masks, I'm sorry. It's unconstitutional. Keeping us in our homes, putting out curfews, telling us to put on masks. I'm sick of it. And so should you.
God have mercy on your souls and God bless America. And whatever happens, whether we like it or not, is part of God's plan. Whether you want to change it or not. I believe that we in this chamber have a special duty as leaders to work together to lower the temperature of our politics. And I hope that my colleagues who have questioned the legitimacy of this election in Arizona and all of these other states now see the dire and dangerous consequences of sowing doubt and uncertainty. I also know that as U.S. Senators, we all take solemnly the oath yeah, let's never question it. Just like poor Mitch said, from here on out, if we question this when every election's going to be questioned from here on out, well, so be it. Half of the country's already questioning this election. So be it. We swear to support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. At this moment in history, I can think of nothing more patriotic than renewing our faith in the charters of freedom that our founding fathers crafted for our republic, starting with the fundamental American principle in our Declaration of Independence that governments derive their just powers from the consent of the government. The people have spoken in this election, and our only job here today is to do what they ask. It is not to argue election security. That's not the place for what we are doing today. Our Constitution specifically reserves to the people the right to meet in their respective states Our Constitution allows us, the people, to question it if we find something wrong. We, the people, have dominion over you all.